guys welcome back okay so when Sydney Grace had their Christmas in July sale I decided to grab some of their singles because I do love single shadows and I didn't have any from Sydney Grace so I decided to grab some I went a little bit crazy um you know but just trying to get my collection intact now I do have my Sydney Grace shadows here in one of my adept cosmetics empty magnetic palettes so these are some of the shadows that I picked up these are all Sydney Grace now I'm not gonna swatch all of these today because it's not you know a swatch party or whatever let me know down below if you want me to do a swatch party but I know there's a lot of videos of people swatching all their Sydney Grace shadows so I decided not to do that today I just want to play with them kind of get a feel for them see if I love them as much as everybody else but these are you know my Sydney Grace shadows that I picked up now you'll see some empty spots in here that's because I did pick out certain shadows that I wanted to play with today so let me just show you guys the little palette that I put together to play with today from my Sydney Grace shadows and this is what it looks like <laughs> so as you can see I kind of had the urge to play around with some greens and I wanted to add that pop of purple it's kind of like a blurple shade on my lid because the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous okay and with the shades that I picked it's kind of like mm, I feel like I need to get some more okay but these are the shadows that I put in my little palette to play with today because sometimes when you have like a lot of single shadows it can be a bit overwhelming unless you kind of just like pull out certain ones and make a smaller palette it kind of helps me to focus in on an eye look so these are what I'm going to be using today um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just put up like a picture with the names so that you can see exactly which shadows I'm using along with some swatches so I'll go ahead and insert that and you can take a look at those but yeah I'm gonna go ahead prep my lids with my P Louise base in rumor 04 of course I've been using this for a while I really like this base <laughs> I'm gonna have to use some of my other bases just so I can use them up but I really like this P Louise base so I'm gonna prep my lids and then we can move forward with playing with these Sydney Gray shadows okay so i'm sorry if you guys can hear the ac or the fans y'all know how it is when it gets hot and it's hot in cali this week okay so let me grab my little makeshift palette here <laughs> um i really want to start out with this shade here because i want to see just how pigmented that is so let me go ahead and use that in my crease This pigmentation is really nice. Shadow is very smooth, easy to blend, easy to apply. Which I'm not surprised because Sydney Grace gets really, really good reviews, so not surprised. Okay, so I have that shadow down, very pretty. I really, really like that color. It's just so warm and comfy. <laughs> okay, so next I wanna go into this dark green shade here because I wanna kinda deepen up my crease a bit. Hopefully I don't lose the beautiful oranginess of this kind of brown shade, but I'm gonna try to focus that green right in my crease. I'm gonna use like a, a more pointed type, you know, blending brush, pencil type brush. Ooh, she pigmented, okay. I'm trying to be very careful with my placement because I want it to stay green, but these shadows, this one is like, it's not having no issues with 
placing it on top of that first shade, it is holding its color and its pigment very nicely. I'm actually quite surprised that it didn't just turn an ugly, crappy brown color. And the way I'm applying this shadow, I'm doing it just like this, stopping it here, not worrying about this part because I know I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm just focusing it really where I know I want it to show. Okay, so now that I have those two shades blended together, I want to go in with some shimmers. I was going to cut my crease with my cut crease canvas, you know, give it a white base, but I think I want to just play with these shimmers, you know, just directly on my lid. So I'm going to do these three colors down here, um, just in the same order, the green, kind of like the blue green, and then the purple, just going across my lid and see what happens. So I am starting with the bright green first and I am going to spray my brush with a little setting spray. Okay, you guys, so as you saw, I did go in with that purple, just testing it out with my fingers since I don't have any nails on right now. I'm like, let me go ahead and just use my finger because I know that the color is so super vibrant and beautiful. So I went ahead and used my finger for that one just to kind of get it to pop as much as possible. So that's what I did for that. It looks really, really pretty. I really love these shadows. Okay, so let me put on some liner. So I'm just going to use some of my NYX Black Liquid Liner because I know I'm going to do lashes today. So I like to have on black liner when I do lashes <sighs> because I'm not that great at lashes. And if I don't have black liner, it ain't, mm -mm, no. <laughs> so I'll put a little black liner and I think I might do a colored liner as well a little bit later. Okay, you guys, so I have my black liner down and I actually really like it with just the black liner, but y'all know me. I have to go in with a little bit of one of my NYX Bright, Vivid Bright liners. So I'm using the green one and I'm just going to try and put a thin line of this right over the black. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Okay, so I did all right. That's not too, too bad, not too, too crooked. <laughs> it's okay. So, okay, let me go ahead, finish my complexion, and then we'll come back and see what I'm gonna do with the lower lash line. Okay, you guys, so my complexion is done. If you're curious about what I have on my face, I will list everything down in the description box below. Um, but just to give you a general idea, I am wearing my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation today. I love this stuff. This stuff is like so bomb. And I did go ahead and use my Makeup Geek Face Palette. You guys, like I said in my Shop My Stash, I don't know the name of this palette, but... I love everything in here, okay? I love this palette. So I did use that today, Perfect. but I will list everything in the description box just for your information. Now I was trying to decide what do I want to do with this lower lash line. I really like how these shadows performed. Um, I'm going to go bright. So I'm going to use one of my ColourPop liners, this bright green on my lower lash line. Y'all know I can't help it.
And just to smoke it out just a little bit, I wanna go in with this shade here. This is the first one that I used on my lid. And just add a little bit of that on my lower lash line. Nothing too major, just a little bit. I did grab a shadow for an inner corner pop. I have about four or five shadows like this that just look white, but they do have kind of like a bit of a shift. And this one, I believe, has the green shift. Let me make sure I pick the right one. Yeah, it does. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it has a very, very light green shift in it. So I'm going to use that in my inner corner. And I'm gonna go in without spraying my brush just because I'm curious to see how it's going to look without spraying my brush. Ooh, she bright. <laughs> oh yeah, she bright. Okay. And I'm just toning it down a bit, going back in with that first kind of orangey brown shade. Perfect. 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 Okay, that's better. Very, very nice. A little bit toned down, but it is still popping in that inner corner, okay? So now a little mascara. I'm using my Essence Super Curl Mascara from my Shop My Stash. I don't want to do too much so I'm just going in very lightly so for lips I'm going to line them with my glory lip liner from the revolution and Tammy collab and I want to see how one of my new lipsticks that I got in my trend move box recently will look with this whole eye look this was the one that I got from Minted, and ooh, child, this is the nude one. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the name on the screen because this writing is too small. I like that color, it's so pretty. It's such a gorgeous nude shade, it's so pretty. You know, it's like it's nude, but it's not, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Really pretty. And because I wanna add a little bit of shine, a little bit of gloss, I wanna go in with my lip gloss from DJ's Unique Boutique. This one is Nude with Attitude, and I'm just going to top a little bit of that on this lipstick. Just to add a little bit of shine, not too much, and the color match is perfect. Now, if you are interested in picking up this gloss from my girl DJ's Unique Boutique, make sure you check my description box down below because I do have an affiliate link for her boutique down in my description box. So, you know, if you wanna support her and then you wanna support me at the same time, go ahead and order from my link. I will say that this gloss is bomb. It's really nice, very comfortable, and it's like the perfect nude gloss, okay? So that's it, you guys, for today's Sydney Grace look. <laughs> I must say, this eye look was extremely easy to achieve. I would say the most difficult part for me was the green liner, which had nothing to do with the shadows. <laughs> but, I mean, these shadows are really nice. As you can see, very vibrant very bold and I really really like them I felt like when I was picking my shadows I was like wow well, I picked a lot of neutral shades a lot of kind of muted colors but as I see from the ones that I pulled to do this look today that there are some really beautiful bright bold shades that Sydney Grace has in her lineup to choose from so I'm really happy with how this eye look came out. I love it a lot. So I will, um, I do plan on playing around with more singles in the future. I'm building up my collection as you guys know. So I do wanna kinda like create small palettes for me to play with 
and create looks from. If you guys would like for me to do that, be sure to say so down in the comment section. I do like to get feedback and know kind of what you guys are looking for. It's kind of hard because I have so much makeup to try out, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with these Sydney Gray shadows. So this is it for today, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out and I will see you on my next video. Toodles. Perfect.